welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to day eight of Vlogmas. So I just had to drag my little booty out of bed. I did not want to wake up this morning. I couldn't fall asleep last night and I just wanted to keep sleeping. But Bo and Cooper have an appointment at the vet this morning. They are getting their annual shots. They need flea medication. So I can't wait to spend a lot of money. But we're about to load up, head over to the vet's office, and get them taken care of. Let's go. Very quickly, I am whipping myself up a cup of iced coffee. Maybe that'll put some pep in my step because I just feel like I am still asleep while on the move this morning. A little splash of cream. Okay, that might have been more than a splash. And I'm going to use up the last of my Christmas cookie skinny syrup. All right, y'all, let's go to the vet. We gotta come out here and grab the trash can real quick before we can go to the vet. All right, let's go. Watch these maniacs run to my truck. <laughs> y'all, look at how long Cooper's eyelashes are. Look at those things. Oh, big yawn. But look at those eyelashes, they're so long, dude, they're so long. Bo is not a fan of the vet's office. He is so scared and Cooper is just happy to be here. <laughs> He's running around saying hi to everyone. Are you a happy boy? Did you get your shot? <laughs> yeah, such a good boy. And you're all done too. <laughs> Well, we are home from the vet. The puppies got their annual shots and flea preventative. And I knew that this was not gonna be a cheap trip to the vet, it never is. But when she told me that I owed $780, I about passed out. Not gonna lie, is it, what? <laughs> what, how much do I owe? Oh my God. I'm glad I love you because holy moly, man. I'm glad I planned for this. Whew! Anyways, I'm about to take these pepperonis inside. And I think I'm going to make myself a grocery list because I have been desperately needing to go to the store. Uh, my parents need me to grocery shop for them so my mom can stay home with my dad. So, I think we're going to do a very big grocery trip here in just a little while. So, time to go inside and make our list. Just look at these sweethearts cuddled up on the couch together. Bo's chewing on his little reindeer. Oh, I love these boys. It was a hard morning at the vet, so had to come home and do a little bit of chilling. Ooh! FedEx just knocked at my door and I am so excited about this package. So I bought this from a local artist on Black Friday. He makes these beautiful fish paintings and he was having a sale on his canvas prints. So let's open up the box and see my new painting we have for hanging in here in the living room because you just can't get enough of fish paintings, right? So. Let's open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. Because I don't even remember which one I ordered, to be completely honest. I just wanted to support someone local who's been really nice to me. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman. So this is a painting of a redfish, which is Cody and I's favorite fish to catch. And she is beautiful. Oh, I love it. The name of this artist, you can find them on Instagram under Real Local, R-E-E-L, Local. And I just love his 
pretty colorful fish print. Let me go see if I can get this hung up on the wall. I'm so excited. I just hung it in here on the wall in our front living room and I absolutely love it. I think it looks so darn good and it's our favorite fish. Oh my golly, I am obsessed. Yes, love it. I just made myself a huge grocery list here in the notes app on my computer. And there's so much stuff because I am also doing the shopping for my mom and dad since he can't get out right now. So this is going to be a big old haul, but I'm about to head over to HEB and get this all picked up. I am just about to head out the door and go to HEB. But before I leave, I wanted to eat something because it is what? one o'clock and I have not had any food today besides my iced coffee. And I know if I go to the grocery store hungry, it's just not gonna be a good day. I'm gonna buy everything. So instead, I had some of these Flex Pro meals, which is kind of like a meal prep service. I had some in my freezer. So I thawed out this backyard barbecue meal and it's got pulled pork, cheese sauce, roasted corn, signature barbecue sauce, barbecue spice in it. And I figured I could eat some of this. I just microwaved it for two minutes. And this is going to hold me over because if I go to the grocery store hungry, I have spent more than enough money today. I don't need to spend anything extra. Whew, all right, let's try the pulled pork. We're good. All right, y'all, let's go get some groceries. I just finished my grocery shopping at HEB, but of course there was like three items that HEB doesn't sell because my dad normally goes to Kroger. So I'm quickly running across the street and going to Kroger now and picking up those last couple of items. So grocery shopping will be done soon enough. I finished grocery shopping, got everything loaded in my car, and I just pulled up at my parents, so time to sort through it all and give them what they need. The snack lady obviously had to give them some treats while we were here at my parents' house. They come to the back door and scream for treats when they know I'm here. Oh, there's a trouble bear. Hey, little trouble bear. Hey, sweet boy. My little old man who needs a haircut, but he bites me when I try and trim his hair. Yeah, this is my old, old man. How, is, how this dog is still kicking, we don't know, but he's still a happy boy. You're going to have to let me trim your face later, dude. Yeah, I know. Hello, little ladies. Yes, we love you, Trouble Bear. We love you, you old man. Yes. I am back at the house and just unloaded my groceries. I thought I would show you what I picked up, even though I really didn't pick up much at all. So my dad mentioned something about cooking wings in my pellet grill. So I picked up some chicken wings and we are gonna try some wings in the pellet grill. I have never cooked wings before, so it should be a very <laughs> interesting experience. The sole reason I wanted to go to HEB today is because of this seasoned chicken. It is just so darn good. It's Texas style barbecue seasoned and it is incredible. I'm gonna grill this and then I can just have grilled chicken to eat whenever throughout the week. I got these blueberries because look at how thick and juicy they look. Ooh, yum. Some shredded lettuce so I can do my infamous chicken sandwiches and wraps. Butternut squash. I made that butternut squash the other day and it was just so amazing. So I picked some up. A block of sharp cheddar cheese since mine was moldy the other day. A couple of avocados. Some low carb tortillas. Dave's killer thin sliced bread. And a rack of ribs to do on the smoker this week as well. So that is what I picked up at the grocery store and now I'm going to put it all away. And why are y'all back here growling? You just, you just munching? We are once again back at my parents' house. My mom wants to go on a walk this evening. So while there is someone here to stay with my dad, we are gonna go on a walk with these crazy pups. 
and then I got some stuff at the grocery store earlier so we can do shrimp asparagus and I don't know what else for dinner just coming over here hanging out with them for a little while and the dogs are very excited to get out of the car what is it Cooper Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good Ever since Barney was little, he likes to bring us gifts and he puts them in his food bowl and today, it is like a weed eater string, but he always brings gifts, and I think it's the most hilarious thing ever. I love your gifts, Barney, of course. Me and Mom are doing some cooking in the kitchen tonight. Hey, y'all. She's doing a couple things. I'm doing a couple things, so we're probably just going to go back and forth telling you what we are cooking tonight. She's cooking the good stuff, and I'm just getting some extras ready. <laughs> So, for dinner tonight, I'm making this Italian lemon shrimp recipe that I found on Pinterest. And then we're making some roasted asparagus. Both of these take like two minutes to throw together. Super simple stuff. But real quickly, I thought I would show you how I'm going to make both of them. For the asparagus, I washed them. I cut off the woody ends. And what I like to do is top them with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. Now I'm just gonna toss it together, get all of the asparagus coated with the seasoning and the olive oil, and it's ready to go in the oven. About three or four minutes before it's done, I will pull it out and sprinkle it with some Parmesan cheese, but I like to get it mostly cooked before you add on the cheese so the cheese doesn't burn. What are you working on over here, Mom? Oh, I'm doing a couple things. So, um, Daddy loves um, that, what is it, the boiled cauliflower. What's it called when you... Loaded cauliflower. Loaded cauliflower. So, I've got a, a cauliflower. I was just, that I was clean. I cleaned it and I'm breaking off the little florets and I'm getting ready to boil those. And then the other thing I got in my sink is the shrimp, which... I did not know when Catherine said she wanted to cook shrimp tonight that she wanted peeled and de-veined shrimp. So I bought head-on um, shrimp and I just peeled them and de-veined them because my, my daughter and my husband are both spoiled. Yay! So I did that prepping and I'm getting the cauliflower ready. I'm gonna boil it up and we'll make that stuffed cauliflower. For the lemon Italian shrimp, I really don't know what it's called. I'm going to lay out a layer of sliced lemon on a cookie sheet. I put some non-stick aluminum foil on it so I don't have to worry about any of this sticking. But I'm just gonna lay out some lemons. On top of the lemons, I am just going to lay out my shrimp. Now that my shrimp are laid out on top of the lemons, I have a stick of melted butter and I am just gonna pour the melted butter over the top of the shrimps. And lastly, I have a packet of Italian dressing. And I am just going to sprinkle this over the top of all the shrimp. I found this recipe on Pinterest, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how it turns out. But I don't really think you can go wrong with it. It looks like it should be pretty good. And I mean, that is all you have to do. Now it's gonna go in the oven and basically stay in there until the shrimp are cooked. So easy peasy lemon squeezy dinner tonight. So I'm doing a couple things. First of all, I cut up the cauliflower florets. So I'm gonna stick those in here to boil. I'm just dropping them in boiling salted water for between five and 10 minutes till they're soft enough for me to mash. So that's one of the things that I'm cooking right now. The other thing I'm doing, I mean, if y'all seen me, you see how big on it, it's leftovers. So this is spinach, mushrooms, and onions that were sauteed in butter. And we had as a main dish one night, I added shredded white cheddar cheese and cooked 
sausage. So I'm just gonna break some eggs into this and I'm gonna bake an egg casserole in the oven. So just a quick and easy throw together casserole. I'm probably gonna add a little brown mustard to it just to give it a little extra flavor. And, um, and it makes just a darn good breakfast that Jamie can't do anything right now. I know y'all know he had a heart attack a few days ago. So everything has to be quick and easy for him. I don't want him in the kitchen. So I'm trying to have food ready that he can grab. I'm making that um, mashed up cauliflower that I don't know how y'all do it or what you put in yours, but I'm gonna make it just like stuffed baked potato. So I have some butter and some sour cream and some green onions. And I pre-melted that butter. I'm just gonna let the, the mixer do its thing here and blend it all up for me so we could stick it in the oven with the rest of the food. Let's see. I think I'm gonna add some cheese. I'm gonna add some bacon bits. Gonna add a little salt and pepper. Again, just whatever you put inside of a baked potato, you can do with this cauliflower. And it's surprisingly good. It surprised me when I first time I made it. But Catherine's daddy likes it, so I just stirred it all together. I'm gonna put it in a casserole dish and bake it at the same time I'm baking, baking the rest of um, her food. Got to maximize the oven. I'm gonna put together, I put a cake together too. I'm gonna make a. Um, I'm cheating. I'm using a lemon cake mix, and I'm gonna do a lemon poppy seed bunt cake because I I don't know why, but for some reason I've been wanting a lemon poppy seed bunt cake. So while the oven's hot, I'm gonna take advantage of it and make a cake too. Look at this tiny little egg that my chicken laid the other day. It is so tiny. That's because she was sick and she wasn't getting enough protein. If y'all saw the video where we were fixing her, <laughs> this is what her eggs normally look like. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what her egg looked like when she was sick. I wonder if there's a yolk in it. I Probably is. It and see. All right, let's see what's inside this little tiny egg. Is there a yolk? No, there isn't a yolk. That's interesting. Hmm. Look at that. Ugh. Yeah, this, we ain't eating this one. I went to Starbucks the other day and I wanted a piece of lemon poppy seed cake and they were out. And I have a made from scratch recipe, it's great. You'd probably give it five stars, but I'm doing it the cheap way. I got a Betty Crocker lemon box of cake. So it's probably gonna be four and a half stars, but unless you have a discerning palate, I doubt you would be able to tell the difference. So you just make it. Uh, with the lemon cake mix, I got my bunt pan there all um, greased. greased up and ready to go. And I am just going to make the cake mix like I would just a regular cake mix. I'm going to uh, add the poppy seeds to it here in a second. Just let it mix up. But I will say the Betty Crocker lemon is the best one to bake this with. I got some Meyer lemons I picked off my tree. So actually, I will make a homemade little frosting for the cake, but I'm adding, I don't know, half a jar, two tablespoons worth of poppy seeds to the cake mix, and I'm gonna bake it up in the oven here in a minute, and it's gonna be good. Yum. We just took dinner out of the oven and it looks amazing. Look at these shrimp. We ended up sprinkling a little bit of Slap Your Mama seasoning on them to give them a little bit more oomph, but they look amazing. I sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan cheese and the asparagus in the last couple of minutes and those are perfectly cooked. And here is the loaded cauliflower. Time to fix up our plates and it's gonna be real good. I just made a simple lemon glaze made out of powdered sugar, butter, and um, powdered sugar, butter, and lemon juice. Well, guys, it is 10 o'clock, and I just got home from my parents' house, and your girl is 
tired tonight. I don't know why. I didn't want to wake up this morning. I've just felt kind of tired all day. So I think I'm going to try and go to bed early tonight, get some sleep, and wake up and have a productive day tomorrow. So those shrimp and the cauliflower and the asparagus were absolutely incredible. It was one of the best dinners I've had in a while. Like the asparagus was perfect. Like it doesn't get any better than that. Oh look, the pooper came to cuddle with me. But I think on this note, I am going to go ahead and wrap up Vlogmas Day. What's today? Vlogmas Day 8 because it is time to get ready for bed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Oh, Cooper wants me to throw his ball. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys! Mwah!